What's up, Gooners? Today we're going to be talking about Chris Ava Tyson once again, and I'm just going to do a part two of my last video, just catching up to speed on everything that happened, and I'm probably going to talk about some extra stuff. Hopefully this video is quick, because, I mean, a lot did happen, but I don't want to sit here and talk about this whole thing for a long period of time. I just want to catch you up to speed so you guys can make your own opinions, because you guys already know my opinion. I don't agree with anything that Chris Ava Tyson has done. I think they're all bad, if you ask me, you know? But uh, from the last time I talked about it, Basically, Chris was in some hot waters because he liked some Shadman art, Lolly art, and uh, he was talking quite edgy towards a minor, all right? It was quite disgusting, some might fucking say. Now, after that situation happened, a bunch of stuff came out, and uh, they were quite bad, if you ask me. Now, some were not as bad, because some people were just fucking straight up lying, and then others were super bad, but the person reporting on it or giving the evidence was kind of, I don't know, they were moving kind of aki, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really fucking matter if they're moving aki or not. If something bad happens to them, that is uh, not good. Now, the biggest thing that came out of all the stuff after my video came out was the Discord leaks and what Chris Tyson was saying in his Discords. And if you want a summary of it, he was just basically getting gooned out in his Discord and there were minors around, which is super bad. That's a, that's a big no-no. You shouldn't be doing that, all right? Now, will I say that I think that he's a pedophile still probably fucking not because i don't have any indication of him saying that he wants to fuck children or want children to get fucked people can make the speculations all they want i mean there was some dude saying that he was a fucking socialist people can make all the speculations all they want until there's 100 percent evidence in my fucking face i'm not gonna fucking believe you because you're not god nor am i we're all humans at the end of the day it can very much be a big joking misunderstanding which is not good at the end of the day even if it's a fucking joke i do not agree. Now the guy that leaked this information was kind of moving kind of strange on Twitter with his stupid ass videos. He was just moving kind of dumb, calling porn, corn, for some unknown reason and just being quite fucking weird. I'll show you the clip. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me and manipulated me and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time, who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days, who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to give me a sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friendship because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him uh, set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. Oh, you, you just leave your address. Please enter stream. Cool. As well as other technical backend things that he needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway, and Chris invited him after that. And Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets, asking for help setting up a Gary's Mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned into us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds, especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public, so when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of minors, and he would use this NSFW bot to spam different corn images, corn images, um, alongside all these 15 year olds. He would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others, which I guess we all kind of just took as a joke at the time. You have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time, we idolized, we thought was the coolest person in the world, so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes. But looking back, I was definitely uncomfortable uh, at being called See, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this first video sucked ass. First of all, saying that the victim is paid off, you're a fucking scumbag, shut the fuck up. Like, you don't need to say some shit like that, it's so fucking dumb. And then, he phrases it like he just got fucking absolutely butt-fucked raped by this nigga named Chris, but all he did was talk about some NSFW shit. And yes, as I said again, bad, but this isn't like the super worst, fucking most disgusting, fucking evilish shit, giggly goon clown, like, whole cult cultivating shit, like, dog. It's not that fucking crazy. I mean, I've been in servers before where people posted porn and I look at porn and I'm not sitting here like, oh my god, I can't wait to get molested by some of these dudes. Like, th that just didn't happen. I mean, the calling daddy thing is kind of fucking weird at the end of the day. That is disgusting and fucking, um, odd. Odd, you know. I wouldn't do it personally. It's just me. Normally, I just call somebody by their name and if I'm making a joke, then that's where, you know, the joke is. And obviously, you make sure that everybody laughs at the joke. But, uh... If it's consistent, yeah, it's kind of kind of odd, kind of weird. But yeah, his whole demeanor is kind of ass and kind of throws the whole video off. But uh, people ask for proof, and then he provided the proof, which is the Discord logs. Yes, the, the big old Discord logs. Everybody's like, oh my god, Chris Tyson is a fucking child molester, and he wants to rape all your kids, and, and, and they're all going to be fucked by Chris Tyson. But before that, there was a second video, so I should put that bad boy for you guys. You should have the full context, the whole fucking pie, like everything. I can't give you one ass cheek and not the other. I was definitely uncomfortable. 
uh, app game called Daddy by a 20 year old, um, and it, you just think about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N-words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the SFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming corn to minors. This story is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize, so if you want to hear more and you want a part two, let me know. But yeah, that was the second part of the fucking cake, you know, the second layer to make the cake all delicious, the frosting on top. And it does sound quite disgusting, sending porn to minors and, uh, you know, having them erase all of it, which I don't even know why you'd need to do that. Can't you just literally delete the channel and then, like, you know, just scrub search you saying the n-word and just delete all those messages it's just like that simple but yeah the ending part was kind of shit ass you know just saying hey guys if you want a part two uh let me know let me know um i'll, I'll give you the part two where i got fucking raped like you don't need to fucking do that my nigga just tell the whole story give us the fucking evidence and uh then boom you're you you'll get the justice that you want everybody will hate chris i mean everybody already hates chris but i don't know why you have to just be like hey guys let me know if you want a part two like no shit sherlock but apparently in the fucking background, him and his friend were working on uh, giving us all the chat logs and everything. And uh, I guess they did successfully do it, but uh, the NSFW chat was missing for some reason. Now don't get it twisted, those chat logs did look kind of shit ass, right? They looked like my ass off from Taco Bell. It wasn't really too fucking good, but a lot of these could be explained away by a misunderstanding or a joke, or you could get the benefit of fucking doubt. And once you can get the benefit of doubt to something, I don't fucking fully believe it until it's 100% proven. Now I'm not sitting here saying I need to see a fucking video of this nigga Chris sending his dick pics to children, I don't need to see that, but like, obviously I would like to see some intent of, you know, having, wanting to have sex with children or sexual attractions to children, but all I'm seeing is that this guy was just fucking immature and dumb. And the reason why I'm giving so much leeway is because, you know, when I was younger, I used to be in servers where they had NSFW chats and, uh, well, I wasn't fucking molested, so there's that, and I don't feel like a victim, so there's also that, and there's no one that tried to, um, I don't know, fuck me. Now, I wish it would be clear of how many members were in the server, or they could just show the members list and, like, identify who's who, because just saying a server full of minors isn't really, you know, proof. Like, you could say that, like, in these contexts, there's these people and some of them are minors, but uh, I would like to know like the full server and how many of them were actually minors and how many were actually fucking adults, because uh, word of mouth isn't really that uh that uh, useful when you're when you're claiming something. You kind of gotta kind of give evidence, you know. Not to shit on this guy or anything. Also, if you're wondering, I say why are you being so nonchalant and relaxed and making jokes about this situation, saying that you know he didn't get raped or anything like that. It's kind of insensitive to the victim. Well, I mean the victim, quote unquote, is out here making memes and jokes about this stuff, so. There's that. Also, these tweets suck, so, you know, there's that, too. He, he has to get punished for ruining my fucking eyes with these, like, grandma-ass posts. But, yeah, the part that everybody's kind of waiting for, the, uh, porn chat, the NSFW chat, uh, it being leaked, well, it's not leaked. Also, the chat logs are not there anymore. So, uh, do with that what you will. I'll show you the clip of him explaining it away. I wanted to give my statement about what happened on Sunday regarding the Chris Tyson NSFW logs that were announced to be released by myself and why they were never released. I had actually slept in the morning that I announced the NSFW logs. I was scheduled to be on a live podcast that morning, and I was rushing to get into it when I was checking my notifications, at which point I saw messages and a group chat in with the people who downloaded the logs from Chris's server, as well as the people who were doing the tech side things with the website, and they were talking about the NSFW channel. And they had sent a screenshot of it, but they were saying, if we have it, referencing the NSFW channel, not we have it. And I was skimming over the messages, I was completely exhausted, I had just woken up, and I completely misinterpreted what these messages were saying. Then I later went on to a live podcast where they asked me if we had the NSFW channels, and I said yes and later made a tweet about it. When I made this statement on the podcast and made that tweet, I genuinely believe we had the NSFW channel. However, I was completely mistaken. It was miscommunication on my part, and I should have double-checked my sources. However, we do not have this channel, and we never had this channel. Before I was able to expand more on my statement about what actually happened and how I was confused about the NSFW logs, Keemstar made a tweet saying that I got paid off, and everyone decided to agree with him and send an enormous amount of hate my way. I've been doing my best at being as transparent as possible and only bringing the truth to light about the situation, even going as far as responding to people who are spreading disinformation online and correcting them about the situation. Like I said, I did genuinely believe we had the NSFW logs when I made my statements, however, I was wrong. So I do apologize to anyone that I let down who thought this information was going to come out. I want to end this video off by saying I've never been paid by Mr. Beast and I never will be. I would never allow money to buy my silence, especially when it comes to a topic this serious. I want to make that very clear. Again, same guy that said lava was paid off, by the way. Now, my tinfoil hat isn't glued to my fucking ass, so I don't really believe that anybody here is being paid off. Lava, him, anybody in the fucking uh, whole situation. I don't believe any of them is getting paid off. I just think that this guy made a huge mistake. But uh, to say that lava is getting paid off and then to do this shit, corny. And then the uh, chat logs are now deleted. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see like if I can get to them by the official means, but uh, from what I see, they're gone and deleted, so...
There you go. Yeah, so none of this is really enough to call him a groomer. Maybe a big creep, but a groomer, not really. A uh, pedophile, not really. A big fucking stupid ass weirdo. Yeah, I can definitely call him that. He's a fucking dumb idiot that doesn't need to be on the internet because he clearly can't handle himself. Then again, this was a while back, so maybe he changed. Who knows? That transgenderism was got him, got him, got him acting a uh, new, new or some shit. But uh, yeah, that happened. Also, there was some girl that lied about a whole situation. Well, she didn't lie. She just came to complain about Chris being a bad like relationship partner. It didn't really fucking matter, because she just was trying to get attention, she got it, that's it, nobody really cared. But uh, then comes one of the big things for me, uh, Moist Critical and Sneeko had a debate about age of consent. Why does this involve Chris Tyson? Because, you know, children. And what should have been probably one of the easiest debates in the fucking world, um, Moist Critical lost. He fucking lost terribly. And he's coping very hard about it, he can't get over the fact that, you know, he lost the fucking debate. He just did. And it's not even like his point is wrong. I agree with his point. There should be a set age point for, you know, when kids should fucking consent to sex. But he couldn't even explain the most simplest things on the fucking planet. Like, uh, you know, why kids shouldn't have sex or why he believes the stuff he believes in and what makes his morals. He was kind of all over the fucking place. And uh, he looked really bad. I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with the fucking clips. You've probably seen the whole debate yourself. If you haven't, go watch it. it, it it's, it's actually entertaining. It's like watching two fucking retards fight, literally. But I do enjoy watching one of those retards so it's hard for me to watch the whole fucking debate through and i didn't so uh yeah you should watch it though because it's like seeing a new compound be made right in front of your fucking eyes it's hard to kind of comprehend how someone can lose an argument to sneak out of all people about the age of consent but the clip that made moist critical look really fucking bad worse than he already was through that whole debate was him basically saying that he believes that kids you know people underage by his standard people under 18 should be going through hormone therapy and essentially have their dick cut off before they're the, uh, the legal age of 18. Now, he clarified that's not fully what he meant, but he really harps on the point of, you know, people's dick getting cut off. I'm not gonna harp on that point. I'm gonna say point blank period. I don't think it's okay to give your kids drugs to stop their fucking puberty or any of that shit. I don't give a fuck if they go off the drug and then it's like their puberty goes back. You shouldn't do that, all right? Kids don't even know what bowl of cereal they want in the fucking morning. What makes you think they have the fucking mentality or the easy understanding to be like, well, I know what gender I fucking want. Like, it's very hypocritical of him to believe that kids can't choose when they want to have sex or when they're mature, but they're mature enough to choose when they could change their fucking gender. Plus, why the fuck would they need to even think about changing their gender right now? They need to focus on fucking school or some shit. It's kind of like if a furry said lollies are for pedos, but then you ask them, is furries for bestiality? And they're like, nope, it's completely different, actually. These are furry personas. Do you not understand? They're not actual dogs. Like, buddy, you're being a fucking hypocrite here. But as much as he wants to sit here and try to justify the fact that he believes that, you know, kids should be able to take fucking hormone pills when they're fucking 8, 13 or whatever the fuck, he's just plainly and simply being a fucking hypocrite. Now, he did make a video basically saying that, you know, he he, he was being some stink ass. He got, he got kafuzzled, actually. He didn't even know this was going to be a debate. But even if this was a conversation, you would still be in the fucking wrong. Also, it's fucking Sneeko out of all people. You really made fun of this dude how many fucking times? Do you think that he was not going to fucking stream this? Also, again, it's Sneeko, the guy that debates people. That's like me calling up Destiny being like, Hey, Destiny, want to have a conversation about how Trump is actually a good president and I disagree with you? Obviously, it's going to turn into a fucking debate. Now, my whole opinion on everything, um, look, I try to think about the best ways possible of this whole situation. In my perfect world, everybody has to obey the law of the age of consent, either being 18, 19, or 20, and that's where it fucking ends. But that's in my fucking perfect world. I'm not a scientist. I can't prove what the mental mature age is. I just can't. All right, I'm not that fucking smart. I'm a stupid VTuber fanboy that's talking on the screen right now. That's that's really all I am. All right, I'm nothing more than that. But in my perfect head canon, I believe that you know we should have the age of consent be 18. Like I, I feel like 18 is just a perfect age. It's just such a perfect age. But people have different cultures. People have different ways of thinking, and it's great on them. I'm not gonna stop them because I don't fucking care. Also, not even a fucking opinion, just very easy to observe. Trey lost the debate bad. He's had so many fucking bad takes. Like, this nigga, um, Sneaker was telling him the actual definition of the words, and he said, who cares? You can't say who cares that, because in that term of thinking, people can say that, you know, racism, actually, you can't be racist to white people because white people aren't a fucking minority. And then you could bring up the actual definition of racism and they'll be like, who cares? Like, you know, that that excuse is just kind of shit. It was so shit. But yeah, even more drama. So apparently, I guess we went into a fucking time machine and started losing our fucking minds. So now we're canceling everybody that fuck with Shadman. I feel like that's so fucking stupid, but eh, you know, it's Twitter. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fucking stop them. I don't even fucking care that much. But Nuxtaku is in some hot water. I don't really like Nuxtaku. Not a big fan. I think he's an asshole. I think he just sucked all around as a YouTuber. But... He is in some hot water over some Shadman situation. 
which I think is fucking stupid. And everybody that's like, oh my god, Nux, you 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 were gonna do a collab with Nux? Uh, are you gonna do a collab with Shadman? I can't believe you. This is so disgusting. This is so bad. Everybody that's saying that shit, and even with Mudahar saying that if that happened, it would be really bad. Like my nigga, you've known this nigga for how long? You're telling me you didn't know that he's gonna probably do a collab with Shadman? And even if he did, so what? It's not like he's sitting here saying, oh my god, Chad. Shadman, you should draw more children getting fucked. Or maybe he just didn't know about Shadman drawing the fucking things. Like, there are two images that were super fucking bad out of all the thousands of images this man Shadman drew. And people's excuse is, well, he should have fucking known. That's a shitty excuse. That's all I have to fucking say on that. But don't take this from me saying I like Nux Taku. But don't take this from me saying I like Nux Taku. I don't. Fuck that guy. I'm just not a Nux Taku fan. He's a very shitty person from my eyeballs for what he did to a lot of people. A lot being two in my head right now, to be honest with you. Also, Mr. Beast is getting canceled because one of his friends signed his shirt or he's doing some illegal, like, law, some shit. I, he's rich. I don't fucking care that much. Now, if you made it this far into the video, you probably realized something quite interesting about today's video. It's not structured. It's not even fucking edited. I'm barely doing anything except talking and rambling about nonsense. And I sound like a fucking lunatic. Well, um, let me put it like this. Uh, kind of depressed. Uh, not really too happy. And this is the part where I'm going to talk about my own thing now. So technically, the video ends right here. Um... I should do a little outro, the, the message of today's video is, uh, go fuck yourself. But, uh, yeah, not, not really too happy, I'm sad, I don't like doing this stuff. I like making videos, don't get it twisted, I like making videos, but I wish I'd make videos on stuff that are, like, fun. Now I know what you're thinking, I say you're literally a fucking nobody, shut the fuck up, I'm just making videos about stuff that are fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that, I'm trying to stream more. I always say I'm gonna try to, but I don't, and then I come back to making these drama videos, but that's what, like, people wanna watch, unfortunately. But, uh, no, I'm gonna go try to make my, when I, I, I don't know, I, there's a lot of shit I wanna do, so much shit I wanna do, and, um, it's not talking, and the things I wanna do is not talking about lollies and if it's fucking CP and pedophiles and people touching on kids. I just don't wanna talk about that all the time. I do way too much research for a bunch of fucking retards, and, uh, that's, that's not what I wanna do, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to, try to do some more cooler stuff in the future. I'm gonna make videos about things that aren't related to drama topics. I'm gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna talk about drama topics, but uh, I'm gonna try to do that less. I don't really care that much anymore. Like, as much as I would love to protect the kids and stuff like that, there's nothing to really protect here. I guess Chris Tyson could have been a pedophile. He could have not been, I don't fucking know. There's no evidence really to give me that. It's just a bunch of screenshots of him being immature. I don't care that much. And this whole drama, I cared in the beginning because it was crazy, but then I started caring less and less because the people that are coming out are kind of shitty. The people that are part of the team are kind of shitty. Everything about this is shitty. Yeah. But, uh, I, I know. This is, like, so rambly, rambly, rambly. Ah, uh, boo-hoo gives a fuck. Cry me a fucking river. But, um, yeah, I said but um like 17,000 times. I'm gonna keep saying but um. But, um, I made a model, a new model, a new fanboy model. I'm gonna debut it tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I don't know why I said that. I lied to you guys. I'm gonna debut it soon. And I'm gonna make another model, which is the other model in the background. And it's just gonna be fire. I'm gonna fix up my mic, because my mic does sound good when I get close, but when I don't get close, it doesn't sound good and shit. I don't fucking know, dude. The message of this point of the video is don't eat liver cheese. <laughs> I want bad hoes dancing to my song. I want bad